plaintiff, Allison Morris, says a month after she started dating the defendant, she became pregnant. And now that they're no longer together, he rarely sees their child. She's suing him today for ballet classes, medical bills, and emotional distress. Defendant Justin Brown says Allison is a wonderful mother, but she is wrong for making him out to be a deadbeat dad. Justin insists he does everything he can for his daughter, and he's countersuing for emotional distress and defamation. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Yes, um, I met Justin in 2013 at a singing competition. We were doing karaoke. Uh, we were friends first, and um, basically we started dating. Um, and shortly thereafter, I became pregnant. Um, How long after? A month. Like a month. You all planned on getting pregnant? Uh, we had discussed. I was uh, told that she couldn't get pregnant. I would have. She has PCOS, and that with that you can't get pregnant is what I was told. They said my chances of fertility were decreased. Not that decreased because a month later she was pregnant, so it wasn't that couldn't have been. So I don't know if that's true or not, Your right. Honor. I have my medical records. So, so. Every doctor visit during her pregnancy, there was that was never brought up according to the doctors. It was a trick. That's that's false. I object. <laughs> But sir, you're emotional now. How old is the child? She's six years old. Yeah, you should be rejoicing by now, sir. Oh, I am definitely rejoicing. I love my daughter with all my heart, and I would not change it for the nothing. And I want that to be on public, on record, on TV, whatever. I love my daughter, and she is, means everything to me. And I want to say to you, Allison, mm -hmm. you are a great mother. You are a wonderful, magnificent mother. I would never disrespect you as a mother. I would never disrespect you as a woman. And I, I, I appreciate you. I honor you. I glorify you. And I thank you for what you're doing with my child and raising her all by yourself. But that's not my fault. But we'll save that for when I speak. Let her finish. Yeah, because I want to hear that. I'm, yeah, I, I I'm definitely. I'm gonna that. let you know, I Judge Matthews. Talks, I love the way he talked to you. He talked to you like a queen. Now, whatever. She the is a queen. She is a beautiful person. Yeah, thank you. And but the way that she treats me all right, just is calm not. Down. I'm trying to give you a I'm compliment, sorry. so just calm down and listen. And this the is compliment disgusting, is, Your Honor. Right. This is disgusting. Seeing families fight like this, and there's there is so much collateral damage. I am not a game, Allison. My emotions are not a game. There is a child involved, Allison. She's gonna watch this, she's gonna see this. Yes, she will see this. This could have been a conversation over the phone. You need to call you to is, have the conversation. I'm talking about you. If you have a problem with me, we could address that. I have no issues with you. Then why are we here? Issue with how you treat why are we here if there's no issue, well, Your let Honor? Me let her finish. It okay, I'm now. sorry, I won't say okay. nothing else. Comes, I'm sorry, I'm just so emotional. No problem. Judge Matt, Your Honor, uh, she has sickle cell disease. She was diagnosed at birth. I did not know I had a sickle cell trait. I knew he had it. I did not. If if I knew, I wouldn't have um, mm -hmm. you know been with him. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, we're dealing with a, a child with a disability mm -hmm. for her life. And I've been dealing with that, um, going to hospital visits and, and being hospitalizations. Well, he sounds myself. like a very caring father. I ask him how many times he's been to the hospital with her for when she's hospitalized for sickle cell. Once. And how, what would you average? Twice a year she was in? Yeah, twice a year, at least. Yeah, at least some average. years worse than others. Yes, sir. The one time he was there, he was already there for a uh, recital because he likes to pay, post everything on Facebook. Let me hear about phone calls, perhaps, and being in touch. Uh, yes, yeah, I've never and never said he cannot speak to her. No, has see he her. been assertive or no, he, has no, he shown she that calls type him, of interest? She calls him. There is a, a message even from last week where she called and he didn't answer. He texted back the next day. Tell Judge Mathis what time you called. Tell Judge Mathis what she time. She called. She at called. At midnight. She called. Your Honor, I go to work at five o'clock in the morning. And you're free to call her anytime. I am in day. bed by 10. I wake up to a missed call at 12 and now I'm a bad daddy. 
I'm not that no guy, Allison. Said you were, no She's trying to paint this bad, picture of me, no of this bad, bad guy. She is no, so not. lucky. I know so many women that don't even, can't even get in contact with their baby daddy, who haven't even seen their, their don't even she know their kids. You got lucky. Basis. I am, I don't have much money. He calls, I can't she calls admit him to that. Morning. But I, I am him. only, only thing I'm guilty of is being a poor daddy. But I am not a bad daddy. And you're just, you, you're, this is embarrassing. There, Judge Matthews, this is a waste of your time. There's people who really need your help. She's not one of them. If you're here because you need more money, I understand that. But if you're here for other things, reasons, there's not, no other reason. There he is, I'm and that's why daddy. I want you to be quiet I'm and, sorry. and <laughs> control yourself so I can give you a compliment and perhaps use you as an example. That's what I'm trying to do as an example of a good dad and a good uh, former uh, mate or partner. <laughs> partner or her boyfriend, the things you're saying about her in the midst of this very big dispute uh, is unusual and it's this commendable. Is and, you know, I'm trying to get a little couple of points across. If you'll let me, your clear African consciousness strengthens you this, and your manhood. This, that's this, what I'm trying to say. I wear African say. clothes because it's my superpower. I know. That's it what gives I'm me trying my to tell the to audience. Oh, Lord. The, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Go sorry. Go ahead. I, you, I can't else. use you. You don't want to be used. A lot of folks come in here, I want God to use them, but you won't let God use you today because you're talking over me. Just try to control your emotions a little. All right, so you said she calls him every morning? Uh, for like a period of time, like when the first week of school, I'm through, she called every morning. And, how, and he answers? Uh, he answered most of the time. Well, yeah, ma'am, that is, he does. He is in touch with his daughter. My children don't call me. I got to call them all the time. So yeah, I thought, I, I, I thought it was a daddy bad. thing until Linda told me the same thing. I was, felt so bad. I said, do these call, kids call you often? She said, well, when they want something. Yes. See, she said, I got to call them. And that's what I'm finding from other men. You got to call these young adults. They got yes, busy six, lives. She's six years old. You need to call her as well. That, yeah, I got it. There's You're right. No you are right. No and my, and my kids call. need to call me as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's people who really need your help. She's not one of them. If you're here because you need more money, I understand that. But if you're here for other things, reasons, there's nothing, no other reason. There he is. And that's why daddy. I want you to be quiet. I'm and, sorry. And <laughs> control yourself so I can give you a compliment and perhaps use you as an example. That's what I'm trying to do as an example of a good dad and a good uh, former uh, mate. Plaintiff Allison Morris has a child with a defendant and she claims he pretends to be a good father on social media when in reality he rarely sees their daughter. Now let me hear from you. Your Honor, This is stupid. This whole thing is stupid. She is mad at me over a blunt. Tell them, tell the court, tell them what happened. I'm down there, my daughter's birthday this past June, okay? Me and Allison, we don't have the best relationship, but we have a pretty good relationship. She bought me a clarinet. But if you need money for this and that and the other, why buy me a gift I didn't ask for? It wasn't my birthday, there's no reason to do it. Use that toward the child. Why? Who says she needs the money? Who says that? I don't know. Why? If you don't need it, why sue me? Because she's holding you accountable for your responsibility. Uh, your half of the responsibility. A gift is totally separate. That's commendable of her. Right. Y'all got a commendable relationship. Exactly. But you have to be, you have to get okay. your arms around whose responsibility and, is whose. And, here, and that's what I'm Judge here Mathis, to determine. Judge Mathis. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I object, or what is interjection? Inter um, interjection. Objection. All right. Uh, whatever. Uh, Judge Mathis. Yes, sir. I am not disagreeing with anything that you're saying, and I'm not disagreeing with anything that she is saying. That child deserves the world, but I just don't have anything. When I have it, I send it, I do what I can, I do the best that I can, and I'm holding myself accountable and saying to you, I should give you more money. Six I know years. that. Six years, tell me how your financial status has been for the last six years Horrible. since the child was born. Horrible, let me, why let me tell years? you why, Your Honor. The first year, I was there. I had money, I had a better job and everything. And she tells me, a job that she applied like almost a year ago, offers her a position. 
and she tells me that I want to move to Atlanta. I'm moving to Atlanta. They offered me the job. I said, now's not a good time. The baby's only a couple months. Oh, why would we move to Atlanta? She said, I'm going with or without you. Bye. And she ups she and leaves. A, okay, yes, yeah, she, she did. I remember exactly. It was on my bed. Yes, she you did. Didn't have a permit and job. um, um, and job. she ups and leaves, goes to Atlanta. Okay, leaves me with the two month baby, old baby, for what, two months or whatever? Only people there that was watching after was me. Two and months? My mother. Yes. No. A two my month mother. old. She, she left, with left a four, two month old nine, baby nine. with That's me. A lie. That's a lie. That's not a lie, Allison. Yes. She was born in June. I was offered the position in January. She was six months old. My mother was helping you, and we went back and okay. forth every week. That's a lot different. That's a so. big difference. It doesn't matter. It was yes, two it months. Does. It was no. It was two. I it was like two months. Okay. It doesn't matter. Let's you get don't to your financial you. history. Okay, so that let is, me. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting to. Please. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe no, I'm just telling not. a long story. So, anyways, long story short, just to sum it up, she ups and moves to Atlanta. She pressures me for months to move. I move. So I, I just don't have that much money. I've been working. I've been trying. With me. I try. It's not like I don't sit. I apply, 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 right. apply. Maybe you're too passionate for people when you get into the Maybe interview. so. Maybe yeah. it's just me. Yeah. But I just had to figure things out the best I can. All right. All right. In the meantime, what's the ballet classes and the medical bills? Half of the ballet classes, um, if you look to, I guess. Pay but are these based on his agreements to pay or a child support order? Yes, from the beginning, he There said, is no child support order. The child support order is open. It is pending. Um, I was filed in 2017 when I was on welfare. I had to start over when I moved back to Florida. I did not move back to Florida lightly. Why does it take five years so far to get a decision from child support agencies? I, uh, if you refer to page 32 and 33 of your file, that August 23rd, Florida, state of Florida reached out to Georgia again for a status of the case. Georgia will not give me information about the case. They have been uh, in communication with him. He had a court date last he year. He said he's dodging for six years. No, sir. How, why are you I not on dodge. child support? If why? Why, are you, why is he not on child support? Because if, he doesn't want to be. Most I understand that. They don't want to be. They just want to well, keep what they, what they got or when they want to, whatever. When they want to. That's why when she illegally on child support, and it's been six years. So he doesn't know anything until the court tells him he does, yes, unfortunately. Sir. These are agreements to give gifts in the future. Ballet classes, which no one has ordered me to pay. Uh, medical bills, which I haven't been ordered to pay. Those are certainly moral uh, obligations some people might consider, but I have to consider the law. And the law is, unless you have a child support order, mm -hmm. there is zero you can do. Okay. The judge determines how much based on income the payment should be. The judge issues that order. Child support agency enforces the order. If the man then isn't paying voluntarily the amount that the judge has ordered, then the court will get involved and they will garnish your check. When they do catch up with him, they gonna calculate it and they gonna owe 100000 Hey, no. That's what's going to happen. And, well, and they're going to say, unless you start paying on this in 90 days, you're going to jail. That's what's going to happen. Me and Allison, we don't have the best relationship, but we have a pretty good relationship. She bought me a clarinet. But if you need money for this and that and the other, why buy me a gift I didn't ask for? It wasn't my birthday. There's no reason to do it. Use that toward the child. Why? She says she needs the money. Who says that? I don't know. Why are you, if you don't need it, why sue me? Because she's holding you accountable for your responsibility. Plaintiff Allison Morris has a child with a defendant, and she claims he pretends to be a good father on social media, when in reality, he rarely sees their daughter. All right. Can I please say what I have to say about that in regards to child support? Ain't nobody dodging no child support. Ain't nobody dodging no child support. For months, she was saying, let's fill out a parenting plan so that we can have things legally in state. And when we did that, we sat together and came up with a plan. We came up with a number. We came up with visitation and all that. You then, have that today? No, I don't. But when we went- Did you all do that? He sat down, he wanted her every holiday. He did not uh, uh, come up with an actual figure. We could not agree on a figure, so I said we need to go to court. Okay, there it is. No, couldn't agree on the we, figure. we did. She what sat the there, figure, she sat sir? there, and I- What was the figure, sir? I don't remember because it was okay, so Okay, well then I can't rely on it because you can't even tell but me But the what point it of it is is when we took it to go sir, get- no Your claim is dismissed for contempt. Yours is granted, and have a good day. Um, you're being disrespectful and contempt. I'm sorry, Judge We went over that before about you being 
being emotional. Have a good day. That's my cousin. You don't call your daughter. You don't call her. How, when is the last time you called so her? So if that's the when reason, the Allison, I her? got on my hands and my knees. When is the last time you called her? I'm not calling until I buy her a phone because I do not want to call you. You're not calling your daughter because... I don't want to call your phone, You don't Allison. have to talk to me. You literally... You know, I don't want to call you. The phone. you. This is so traumatic. This is so extreme. The things that you put me through and then you get I mad. I didn't put you through anything. You're not the victim, Justin. She I'm are... not the victim. Okay. She is the victim. This exactly. is collateral damage. Exactly. So like I said, what, what about when you visit us and you stay at my house and then you leave in the middle of the night? No, I don't. What about... Yes, you do. Okay, because what she about, wakes up looking for you. What about when I stay at your house and I clean up the whole thing? You stay at my house. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome for not having to spend extra money to come see her.